Hello, hello. Here I am putting on my face, trying to get rid of the dark circles with the green. I don't know if it's working. Anyway, uh, Jay's off to Spanish class I go today. I've studied and studied and studied, but she's still going to kick my buns. She always does, and I, I kind of feel lost. You know, Sergio, here's, here's the thing. Sergio has told me, when he when he went to the States, I, I've said it before, he spoke zero English, okay? He didn't speak any English. So he bought his books to complete his studies. He was already a doctor here in Guatemala, but my husband has had 16 years, we added it up once, of school, 16 years. So, uh, as far as upper, you know, college level courses. Okay, so he bought his books in English. I, there's no way, like, there's no way I'm going to study anything. I have had a lot of time studying Spanish and Spanish. He studied in English, okay? No, I, I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, so, uh, then he said, watch TV. Lots and lots of TV, but I hate to watch TV. Like, that's just not my cup of tea. I want to be outside playing, you know? So he said, well, watch, watch TV. So I'm watching TV some with the um, the little words. What do you call that? Where it puts little words below the, the screen. Anyway, so the uh, movie's in Spanish, and the words are in Spanish. And I'm hoping that that will help me like it helped him. Um, Dr. Raul also said the same thing. He said when he went to the States with Sergio that he did not speak any English either and that Sergio told him the same thing. Neither man took uh, took classes like I'm doing. No, they did not take classes. They just watched TV and talked to people and learned the language. Okay, and I get that, but, you know, I... I need the class. I need a little extra help. I need someone to explain some of this stuff to me for me to get it. Sorry, I'm making these really dark for a minute. Um, anyway, I just need a little extra help, okay? But I'm dreading. After two weeks of not being in class, I am way dreading being in class today. I am way dreading it. And then they sent me an email saying your class is from 10 to 1 this week with Kelly. Okay, that's great. In CASA 1. House one? What is that? I mean, if it's in the classroom, you would say in the classroom, wouldn't it? Like, what the hell's Casa one? So I'm going early to show up because I I don't know, like, is she going to be there or am I going somewhere else? I, I don't even know what the hell Casa one is. I get so frazzled. Can we just leave things the way they are? I know I didn't go to class for two weeks, but can't we just leave it the way it was? I mean, why do we have to make me hunt for the damn thing? It's bad enough. I don't want to go today anyway. And now i got to hunt for the damn classroom. It's okay. I'll find my way. It's just one of those extra stressors in my life that is so minute, you know, really. But it's so grand at times, you know. You're like, it's just a big thing. Some days are bigger, the things are bigger than others. Some days I can navigate. Today's not one of those where I want to navigate much. I just want to go and get get back into the swing and not be, you know, flailing around. Not I'm gonna already be lost. I I just want to know where I'm going. Anyway, Mercedes is here. Breakfast was great. I had plantains, which here, oh my gosh, in the states, you guys, you can get plantains. They look like the bananas. They look just like the bananas, only they're black. But they're not sweet. Like here, they're so juicy and sweet. When she cooks them up, when they cook the plantains here, wow. And I had beans and some sausage and eggs. And I cheated and had a little bit of pan because I bought it at San Martin Bakery yesterday. So good. And I'm trying not to eat pan to get rid of this right here while my husband's gone. So two weeks to get to, to slim this bad boy down just a little bit. <laughs> And then when he comes, I can eat again. That's why I'm going to do this game. While he's gone, I'm going to suffer a little bit with my food. And when he comes, I'll enjoy my food more. So anyway, yeah, that's my plan. The kids have Miss Castilla today. And um, we're on and cracking. Back on schedule. 
um, doing our thing. So let's see what this day brings. Did it. I got ready and I'm in the car going through the gate. Look at this beautiful little park here. Gracias. A little bit early. There. You know, with glasses and a mask and other glasses and all of that, I can't keep I can't keep my hair in line and and it does, and the humidity. Let's not forget that. Oh, I don't want to go in. I'm gonna do a little video as I walk. Let's see if I catch anything. If I don't, I won't put a little video on here of my walk to class, but oh my gosh, wait. Here goes a lady with something on her head. Wait. There, see, look. How do they do that? How do they do that? I can't even imagine. I asked Mercedes if she can do it. She said, no, she doesn't do that. She can't do that, but her grandmother could do that. I don't, uh, you know what? I have trouble walking, so there's no way. But anyway, I'm gonna get out and uh, see what we catch on video as I walk to class, okay? Here I am stressing and studying before class. My teacher's not coming, yay! Yippee, my teacher's not coming. Pimsler helps me study Spanish on my own. Hey Giovanni, you want to come and fly with me? Look at this. This is a Cirrus jet. The engine is on top, as you can see. It flies very high and flies very, very fast. Beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. Then if we uh, save all the money that you have under the uh, sofa somewhere, you have $2.5 million and I think that we can buy this one. Or we can get this other one, which is very much like the uh, one I used to have before. It's a Baron. You know, twin engine is fast and beautiful. It flies also very fast. And take a lot of people inside, like the one I used to have. Take up to six people. Or we can fly our plane, which is out there. It's a real turboprop Bonanza. Take six people, very fast and beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. You want to fly with me, Giovanni? Maybe Amelia wants to be my co-pilot. Maybe Gianna wants to be my uh, my engineer. I don't know. Oh, 
All right. Well, what did I see? What did I see? Let me tell you. I sat in school today for three hours. My teacher was not there, but I, I did my own with Pimsleur. It's an application um, that I got over a year ago, trying to um, do Spanish bit by bit. And I think I had made it through lesson like 12 when we came. I'm past 30 now. I'm on second level. Woohoo! Um, anyway, it's a great course if you haven't tried Pimsleur for whatever language you're wanting to use. I would, or learn, sorry, <laughs> got distracted. For whatever language you want to learn, I would highly suggest Pimsleur. It's a, it's pretty navigable for us, uh, people at this age especially. Um, yesterday I was in town with the kids. I forgot to say this. So we're walking down the sidewalk and this horse, I'm not lying. I am not lying. Down these cobblestone roads, right? And there's cars everywhere. And this guy was as white as me. <laughs> He's young. And he comes galloping. And I'm talking, the horse was prancing. I'm not a horse person, but you know how they do their, their legs and their hooves, you know, when they're prancing? And get, like, it was at a clip. Down the street it went. Gianna, my animal lover, she's like, Mom! A horse! I said, yeah, can you believe this? Anyway, um, it was something to see. I don't know where he ended up going or where he came from, but he was moving. Probably faster than the cars were. Um, and just now I saw this little young whippersnapper. He was probably, I don't know, five, four, five years old. And he's standing outside on the sidewalk and his parents came walking out. And I didn't realize it was his parents until a second later when they said something to him. But they didn't care. He flipped them off. Like, gave them the finger. You know, the finger. Right? A finger. The thing is, they didn't, they didn't do anything. They didn't care. Why? Because here, it's not the finger that matters. Here, it's this. That. You put your thumb in between like this. That's giving someone the finger here. And I asked Sergio, I saw the other day, these guys, you know, they were in the back of a truck and they were flipping off, giving the finger, the real finger, finger to a friend. And uh, I said, I thought you said they didn't use that here. And he's all because of the movies, you know, they, they see a lot of stuff like that here. And, and so now they're using it. But it, I mean, it doesn't really have an effect. And, and I get it because, you know, guys, if somebody drove past you, and they were mad as a hornet. So, ah, you'd be, okay. I mean, it doesn't really affect you. So, it's just funny to see this little kid with his parents off and everybody just kind of, oh, no big deal. I just kept doing what they were doing. And I was amazed. Anyway, I, I'm going to the liquor store to buy a little bit of mommy pop and head me home to uh, eat lunch and help with the kids' things. Let's see how it goes. playing some good little music here and uh yes i am i'm showing you what i got for mommy pop there she is there she is i know there's some of you that are not mommy pop believers but i am and um i need it once in a while for a little a divertido a little bit of fun just uh you know i don't get out i don't go do things because it's the kids and i so there's not a lot of uh, celebrating going on in my world. So I figure 
in the evenings, a little mommy pop is all right. A um, little bit of lime juice, some salt and some ice, and I am happy. So let's head to the house, see how this Spanish lesson goes for the kids today. I know I'm gonna learn something new. I always do, I always do. Today was chicken with skeel and black bean soup. Mercedes handpicked these flowers. And now for our Spanish class with Miss Gatia. What are y'all gonna do today? Look at those baskets. Why are you early today? Why are you early today? She says, I love kids. Give me your sí. stuff. Hoy solo vamos a ver okay, la sí. A y la E. Okay, sí. Shh, Giovanni. Shh. Okay, Mira, sí. Giovanni. Vamos a ver la letra hey. A. Ah. Mira, A. Ah. Amalia. Amalia. A. Ah. Gianna. A. Ah. A. Ah. 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 Miren cómo está haciendo esta boca. A. Ah. Ah. Giovanni. A. Ah. Giovanni. Ah. 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 Bio. Oh, that's what. Oh, that's what. And that. Mommy, that part. Apple. Apple. Muy bien. Very good, Giovanni. Apple. Apple. Muy bien. Oh. Araña. Araña. Skin spider. Anillo. Abanico. Y ancla. Muy bien. Busca aguacate. Pégala aquí. Giovanni, aguacate en tu spot. There you go. Búscala, Giovanni. Vamos a buscar aguacate. ¿Dónde? ¿Este? Está bien. Yay, Gianna! Put it on. Gianna, ¿lo encontraste? Uh -huh. I'm snappy. Aguacate. Sí. Elefante, ah. muy bien. Elefante. Look! Es Look at that, Gianna. Sí. Gianna. Erizo. I'm here. Erizo. 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 Muy bien. Arreya. Esponja, Giovanni. Esponja. Enana. Enana. Escoba. Escoba. Escudo. Escudo. Y escalera. Escalera. Muy bien. Goma, Giovanni, aguacate. A. ¿Lo vamos a pegar aquí o aquí? ¿Dónde va? A o E. A, Amelia, aguacate. Chris Cross. Sí, aquí. Pégala, pues. Ayúdame. 
She even played with him at the park after class. I belong to Facebook group pages for um, expats living in Guatemala. And the expats can be from anywhere. But it's so funny because um, at times you have people complain about the fireworks and today the first post I saw was why do they think it's okay at 6 a.m. to shoot off these fireworks well it's their country like it or leave it right I mean and that's why I always felt with the states is that the people that come there and want to change it to accommodate what they're used to well like it or leave it I know it's a melting pot um, and that goes kind of both ways. Do you hear? Boom. And these can start at 4 in the morning. They can go till 3.30 at night. So, I mean, you just get used to it. And I love it. They celebrate life. They celebrate every birthday. But they don't want to miss it. Excuse me. And, you know, they get up early and go to work. And so maybe, maybe they got to catch a bus, a chicken bus, to get to their job. And maybe they got to hop the bus at 4.30. So they might be shooting off fireworks to celebrate someone's birthday at 4. Or Mother's Day. Or Father's Day. Or whatever day. Or Saint's Day. Or the church shoots them off as well. It's great. I love it. I love that they celebrate life. It just feels good. It feels right. Um, what can I say about the day? School. Thank God. My professor. My maestra did not show today. I was not disappointed. I got to break in easy today. So back in the swing and the school was much more tranquilo, as they say, much more tranquil because um, like I said in previous videos, you know, every week on Monday, you have a new group of people and, or a big group, new group of people, some of the same like me, just hang on and hang on, hang on. So, when I left, it was um, a bunch of uh, students from um, the, you know, European students. And they were long and lanky and wore short dresses and they were loud and laughing and celebrating life, which is great, but I could not focus. I'm like looking at their dresses and looking at their legs and listening to their accents. And I, I couldn't focus in the garden and El Harin, <laughs> it was not working for me. So today, as I looked around, um, there were probably five tables of um, professors and students, one-on-one, -on -one, and then classes going on all around. And um, it was much more of a study atmosphere. So it made it easy. I put in my headphones that my hubby bought me, and I studied and studied and studied for three hours and came home and studied a little bit more. And then Miss Gathia came, taught me some new words with the kids, and uh, she played at the park with them. And then we took Mercedes home. Mercedes made them chocolate-covered strawberries and chocolate-covered bananas. <clears throat> You'd think that'd be a great thing, but no, because they're cold. And my kids wigged out because they're cold. And no, we don't like that. And poor Mercedes. I mean, she was making them a treat. It just didn't go over. So Miss Gethia and I helped to eat them. <clears throat> they were delicious, by the way. And uh, I'm fixing to have a little mommy pop. You saw I went and bought my 1800. That's the one my husband told me to get. And I'm going to have a little mommy pop and sit down with my kids. Um, it's so strange here. They eat very late. And maybe you guys do too. I don't know. Um, at home in, in Amarillo, I eat early. And I eat supper early too, like an old lady, like at 4 o'clock. And then I'm done for the day. Well, we eat lunch at, you know, 2 o'clock much different so I eat a piece of cheese and a little bit of fruit and I mean a little bit of fruit and have a drink and I'm done for the day 
and the kids are getting used to, I just heard Giovanni, mommy, can we have popcorn? Um, yeah, popcorn nights for supper. <laughs> But you see, they eat a good breakfast. Like they have eggs and meat, and I know a lot of people that feed their kids McDonald's or donuts or whatever for breakfast, Pop-Tarts, cereal. Um, my kids eat well for breakfast. They eat well for lunch. They have snacks throughout the day. So <clears throat> at this time of night, it's already dark. It's um, not even seven. Popcorn sounds like a dang good idea, doesn't it? Popcorn popcorn for dinner, popcorn, cheese, and fruit. <laughs> well, and then Mercedes comes in the morning and says, Was he not? Hey, was he not? A noche. What did you cook last night? And I said, Oh, um, popcorn. I cooked popcorn. That's what I cooked. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the snippet on her too with Sergio's airplane. Um, he's such a pilot, and uh, yes, that is his airplane, the last one. He's grueling over the other two, and um, and that's his out there as well. And he takes such pride in it. He shines it up and cleans it up, and he dreams of the day when the kids fly with him as co-pilot. So um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little piece of it. And I gotta get off here. I have things to do. You guys have a fantastic rest of your night. Say a prayer for me. I'll say a prayer for you. And I will see you guys on the next video. I have a special girl I wanted to say hi to, too, by the way. Her name is Riley. Riley, are you listening? I see you. I hear you. I know you. And I know that you're picking out some special things for these three kids. So thank you. Thank you for that, Riley. Thank you, Marla. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, everybody. Giovanni, no, leave it there. Oh, the fight's going to be on.